hello everyone welcome back to another video in this video guys i'm going to show you how to fix facetime not working on your iphone after the new update so if you have updated your device to the new update now your facetime isn't working on your ios device i'm going to show you how you can fix this problem so let's get start the video before we start the video subscribe to the channel and like the video and leave a comment down below so the first step is you have to force close the facetime app and relaunch it and see if it works so to re to force close just swipe up and close the app now relaunch it and see if it works and if it's still not working then the next step, step is check facetime status server for that you can go to safari and search for apple system status and see if all services are working normally so see if you have facetime issue so if the all services are operating normally that means the facetime is working so now move to the next step first of all restart your iphone once it can fix your many problems on your iphone so you have to restart your iphone if it's not working and after the restart check if your facetime works or not if it's still not working then make sure that you have a good internet connection or cellular data or wi-fi to check if your internet connection is working or not you can go to youtube and browse anything and if it's working then you have to move to the next step So if your internet is very slow you can just switch to another data or just change the wi-fi network so once you have done this and it's still not working then for one time you have to sign out your apple id and sign in again on your iphone if you're using facetime with the apple id and now the next step is go to settings then click in general and set date and time make sure that you turn on set automatically so once you've done this and if it's still not working then just scroll down click on transfer reset click on reset and reset network setting once after you have done the reset network setting and if it's still not working then you have to connect to the apple service to get the support from there so if this video helps you if it does then leave a like and comment thanks for watching